Hello, this is me looking very happy about the two shiny new stickers on my latest release. And what does becoming a CBCA shortlisted author mean to me? Above all, it's an acknowledgement of the tireless effort and passion that goes into creating what are essentially 32 pages of art. Don't you think it's amazing to consider that picture books are often a child's first exposure to story and fine art? I'm totally wrapped to be a creator of this experience and one with two shiny stickers. The nearest suitcase is a story about finding friends in new places. Some of my favourite spreads are those tender and evocative moments that illustrator Nikki Johnston has captured so beautifully. Here, Amira is dreaming about her mother's mint tea and the things she misses from home. The colours make you want to both dive in and swim, but also drink the deliciousness. Playfulness, memory and dream are all swirled together so perfectly to help spark conversations with very young children. This precious and intimate moment when Amira first meets the sprout growing her suitcase triggers so much curiosity for children. Again, this scene is playful, but it is also curious. Is Amira hiding from something or someone? Or is she playing hide and seek? Or is she simply having a moment with a special friend? When I first saw Nikki's illustrations of my words, it made me gasp. She had expressed the feeling and the layers of my story with incredible sensitivity. The expression of joy in this illustration makes me smile every time. Amira has two new friends and two additional sprouts. I love that Amira's joy can be seen even in her hands and toes. This is the illustration that makes my heart feel full. Amira almost looks like she's about to lift up off the ground and fly. Friendship has the power to lift you up. And in Amira's story, it shows children how kindness and inclusion can take you to places you never imagined. Well, that's it for me for now. I'm off to my studio to write another story. See you later.